Hi, it's Jesse. I am doing a vlog today because I really don't know how to put into words this subscription box that I have that um, I've been getting for the last six months now and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I love when it comes in the mail and I have to try very hard not to try everything at once, but um, oh, okay. Sorry about that, but um, it's the subscription box I absolutely love, and it is called <laughs> Vine Box. I love, love, love the subscription box. Um, I couldn't resist popping it open as I was kind of getting ready to record this video, but um, it comes in a really handy little thing. This is basically, um, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this. Bright Sellers, Club W, all the things that ship the mail of wine right to your door. But, um, so this comes in the most adorbs package. It's very sciency. I don't know, but as you can see, one of my vials of wine is already drinked. Well, it's in the wine glass sitting right next to me on the screen. Um, it is fantastic. I've actually taken only one sip, as you can tell. Well, I don't think you can see. The lipstick imprint but um, only a little bit of sip has been taken I'll pour another one just so you guys know I'm not a liar face but um, so what this is they send you tastings of wine every month um, after you taste them you can go online and kind of um, buy a bottle if you want um, rate the wine talk about how you feel and it comes each box along with its wine vials comes with a little envelope that has uh, you know, like cards with all the information on it that you would need about each of the wine. So what I'm drinking right now is, whoops, a uh, Gamay has like where it's from, the tasting notes, um, what to pair it with. It's basically just idiot proofing the wine for you so you can really feel like an expert on what you're drinking. Um, use the information that you're getting to apply it to other wines you're drinking. It's a fun way to explore new wines, primarily old world wines from what I've gathered. I've yet to get anything from America, which is fine. I live just south of Wine Central, so I'm not complaining because I just pop up north when I want to try something new from California. But um, also on the back, it gives you little quizzy words, so you really can step up your wine game when you do stop by wine country. You walk into the winery and you're like, hmm, red. But it gives you a better word for red, fruity, all those other generic words, tannic, all the things that we say but we really don't know what they mean. So um, I have yet, honestly, to get a wine that I don't like. Um, obviously not all are my favorite. I'm a very picky drinker, but every glass I've had has open me up to something new that I might like in the future or might want to pair with, you know, a dinner or something else. I'm really big on having my friends over for food and feeding them my wine because I have entirely too much around the house. So this has, you know, given me a lot to work with and new things to think about when it comes to what I'm drinking. It helps me step out of my box, especially my U.S.-based box. Um, that's a dirty joke, but, um, here is another empty glass. I am going to actually pop open another vial for you right now, just so you can believe me, get a better look at the vial, um, take a peek at what we have here. So here is the Chardonnay that came with this month's box. Comes in a little glass vial. It's very... Sciency. I feel like I could sneak wine places in these, just kind of like, oh my god, there's no wine here. Wine. But it's, it's a twist off cap. I'm really bad at these. I have terrible arm strength. But, um,. Let's compare because I definitely, oh, they're different glasses. I, I fuck this up. But you can still kind of see they have about the same amount of wine. I did 
drink some of the Gamay, which was it's truly fantastic. I really did love this wine. It is a grape that I normally like blended with things, but I like it. And as we all know, Chardonnay, my number one favorite wine of all time. It's a pretty heavy little pour. Um, nothing you're going to get from flirting with a bartender, but what you should be getting when you order wine. Um, stored well. Definitely doesn't smell funky at all. And I'm pretty sure, um, based on the customer service I've had with them, you know, if you do get a wine like that's smells rancid or is bad, they will definitely work with you to figure out what the situation is. Um, I have only had the most wonderful experiences with them, whether it's customer service, social media, you name it. I'm just super stoked every time I get the little notification in my email like, your vine box is on the way, and I'm like, oh my god! So much fun. Um, I share these with friends a lot. Like, I definitely get some wines that I, I know I'm not a big fan of, but I'll invite that friend over. Like, I have a friend who loves Sauv Blanc, which is not my jam at all, unless, like, I'm already drunk or something. So, definitely great for sharing. Um, kind of rambling at this point, and like I said before, like, have so many wonderful things to say about the subscription box that I really can't stop. It's maybe, I think I might have said earlier, $40 a month-ish. Less, actually, I'm just rounding up because I don't want to say something lower and then people will be like, well, fuck you, you said the wrong thing. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's great, I love it. I love it. That's good. And, um, I mean, little magnetic box for easy shipping, everything. So I'm going to cut this off. If you have any more questions, feel free to message me. There's a little uh, message me button um, somewhere on this blog. I think on the home page it says, like, say hello. Oh, it's on the sidebar. It's on the sidebar. Um, you know, pop over to my Instagram. I post about Vinebox um, on my Instagram too. Um, but that's about it. So um, give them a try. I now need to finish these sometime. And I... It's the middle of the day, but I'm feeling saucy for a wine Wednesday. So... When everybody gets home, they're just going to come home to a very special Jesse. But um, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday and the rest of your week. I will be posting more later.